beautiful wife, he had a healthy baby. No other governor in Virginia had so many horses in his stable, so many beggars in his doorstep, so many soldiers in his service, and so many petitioners in his courtyard. Georgia Bashwili, how shall I describe him to you? He enjoyed his life. On the morning of Easter Sunday, the governor and his family went to church. Beggars and petitioners poured in to support our thin children, grandmas and petitioners. Uh, uh, mercy, mercy, your grace, the taxes are too high! I lost my leg in the war, where can I get? Oh, the child is starving in my arms! They're followed by soldiers and iron shirts. And then, expensively dressed, the governor's family. Get back. Clear the church door. Behind the governor, his wife, and the editor, the governor's child is brought in in an ornate carriage. <gasps> the lady! Oh, I can see it. Don't shove so hard. Oh, God bless the child. You're great. The crowd is pushed back with whips. For the first time on that Easter Sunday, the people saw the governor's heir. Two doctors never moved from the noble child at all of the governor's eyes. Even the mighty prince had Becky vowed before him at the church door. Fed prince stepped forward and greeted the governor <laughs> and his wife, Natella. Happy Easter, Natella Abashvili. What a day! When it was raining last night, I thought to myself, gloomy holiday. But this morning the sky was gay. I love a gay sky. A simple heart to tell Abash really. And little Michael is the governor from head to foot. He tickles the show. At last, Georgie has decided to start building the East Wing. All those wretched slums are to be torn down to make room for the garden. Good news after so much bad. What's the latest on the war, Brother Georgie? The governor indicates a lack of interest. Sometimes things go well, sometimes not. Such is war. Doesn't mean a thing, does it? He's coughing. Georgie, did you hear? She speaks sharply <laughs> to the doctors. Two dignified men standing close to the little